What's going on guys, Balkan Architect here and in today's tutorial I'm going to be modeling the Big Architect's Spiral Tower in New York. So that's this new skyscraper that I think it's going to be built in New York and it's it looks basically like a spiral that's going around the building and it's kind of building itself I guess you can say. But anyway it looks really cool so I thought it would be cool to model something like this as an in-place mass in Revit. But before I get started I would just like to ask you to like this tutorial, it helps me out a lot and if you haven't already I suggest you subscribe because I make tutorials like this every day. And if you want to download this project file as well as all of my other Revit project files that I've done so far, check out my Patreon first link in the description. Okay, so let's get started. So for this I'm just going to be using the architectural template. And now uh, because this will be in a in place mass, we can just go here to massing inside. But just before I do that, I like to set the units to meters for projects like this. So just type in UN and set this to meters. Hit OK, OK again. Uh, click here to show mass so you can actually see what you're doing and then go in place mass. We can just call this mass 1 because the name doesn't really matter all that much. Okay and now let's start modeling. Now this will be just a rough model so uh, I'm not going to be overly precise so I'm just going to start off with a simple uh, 10 by 10 meter rectangle in the middle and once we have this you just need to go into 3D, select it, go create form and here for the height, let's do something like 60 meters. I don't know, that's that's all right. Okay, then we'll go back into level one, and uh, here you go again with a rectangle, and let's do this one at two by two meters. So two meters by two meters. Okay, there we go. Go into 3D, uh, find it, orbit around, select it, again, create form, and this one, let's do this one at, uh, at 58. Yeah, 58 meters. Okay, so we've got this 58 meter column and now you hover over it, you hit tab once and then you can select the whole thing. Then you go into level one and you can just type in MV for move, place it here, then go CO for copy and then just select one of these points, for example, this point or yeah, maybe this point and then just start copying. Make sure that multiple is checked over here. So you just start copying and you go all the way around this building. So once you're here, you just continue on the other side, just continue copying this shape. Once you get here, uh, because you can't uh, go any further, because you, you don't have that uh, reference point, or actually, yeah, we can go like this, but you can actually just type in CO again for copy and then choose a different point. So I can just go from here. So just typing in CO uh, once again will allow you to change the that point where you grab your uh, this little rectangle in this case. Okay, so uh, let's not go any further for now. Uh, let's just go into 3D and start adjusting this. So you just hover over this uh, top part, you go over here and type in just a smaller number, 56 in this case. Here I'm just going to go with 54 and then just go basically like that all the way down. So for this one you can hit the tab key uh, if you can select it. So this should be 50 two if I'm not mistaken yeah and then for the corners let me just get to the corner this is 50 yeah this is 48 uh, for the corners you can either leave it uh, going around the corner like this so at the same height but I actually like to have it just drop off at the corner as well so uh, let's go here with 46 yeah so you basically go like that all the way around so I'm just going to speed that up because you get the point I'm just uh, typing in different numbers And as you can see, achieving this shape is really easy to do. Now we've got a bunch of these elements and it's usually good to join them all together. So you just go here to the join tool, make sure you check a multiple join, 
you select the first thing and then you just start adding all of the other elements and this usually goes really fast so just add all of those elements that you've created let's go to the other side yeah there you go okay and now if I go to model okay there we go so if we just go finish mass there we go we've got our in place mass and then we can just start selecting or maybe adding uh, a curtain system to this or something like that but you get the point once you get a mass in place then it's easy to finish the rest of the building and it's actually even though it looks like a complex shape it's really not that difficult to model something like this okay so that's pretty much it for this quick little tutorial on how to model the big architects new york spiral thank you for watching please subscribe like and share this video if you want to download this model again check out my patreon first link in the description if you have any questions comments or suggestions for any future tutorials maybe some other famous buildings that can be modeled easily within 10 minutes or so uh, please leave them in the description okay so that's pretty much it thank you for watching and I'll see you tomorrow.